What's up, everybody? It's your boy Al. Happy Thursday. I hope you're having a blessed and prosperous day, prosperous week. I uh, wanted to do this video real quick about the young man, PMB Rock, who was killed. Unfortunately, another sad story of a young black man gunned down. Um, and uh, it's a sad situation. He was at uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles eating with his, his, I don't know if it was a girl or his wife. And some people rolled up on him, demanded his jewelry, and killed him. It's just a story that's becoming too familiar, all too familiar. Um, just a story that is becoming frustratingly um, hard to deal with. Uh, as, a, as a black man who aspires and works hard to try and encourage young black men to do the right thing, this is just a, it's an epidemic. Um, and there are a few things that disturb me about this. And I want to talk about a couple of things and uh, things that I don't see really people talking about. One of the things, obviously, yes, um, the location posting and all that kind of stuff, but there's a couple other elements that people aren't discussing when it comes to this. The first thing I want to say again, we as a community, as a black community are failing. Uh, we can't, I don't want to hear anything about Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter, you can forget about that. That whole farce of a movement. Um, I never got behind it to begin with. Um, it was a force of a movement. We can forget about talking about what white people aren't doing for us and start discussing what we are doing to ourselves. It's tragic, it's horrible, it's heinous. And as I said before, and I won't repeat myself, so because uh, I've already covered this in other videos, we can't look to other communities to help us. We have to help our own community. We're not getting anything from we're not getting any 40 acres in a mule or any re slavery recover recovery there's no slavery recovery package or nothing like that coming down the pipeline y'all could just hang that up looking to the government to restore some of these communities not happening so we have to start doing this ourselves um young brother was killed there are a couple of things uh the overall theme that i want to drop on you guys is and this is for young people just people in general um, and that is to stop trying to impress everybody. One of the reasons why people are always so fixated with posting where they are, where they're going, what they have, what they just bought, where they're vacationing on social media is to try and impress someone to get an ooh and an ah out of someone. Um, and sometimes you just have to be discreet and basically say between you and your wife or your significant other it's nobody's business but ours where we are my wife and i don't post everywhere we are everywhere we eat everywhere we go every venue we visit we don't post that not that we're anybody that people would want to rob us and know where we are but we just we have friends and and, and people who always who post a lot of stuff about where they are and where they're vacationing and what they're doing for their honeymoon or what they're doing for the anniversary but we just don't do that and not a lot of it every now and then my wife will be eating something she'll think it's beautiful and she'll want to post it or being a you know uh, a um a stylist as she is she'll be wearing something and she'll be like baby this is fine take a picture of this so i can post it um so i can promote you know my my business that i'm trying to get going so i'll do that for her. um but outside of that man we don't we don't do a lot of that kind of stuff and i just feel like you know, a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on his his girl posting where they were. Uh, it's discovered that he posted that they were going to be there before she did. Um, stop letting everybody know what you're doing. Um, stop stop being so consumed with letting everybody know that you you got it like that, or you're doing it, or you're living the life. I mean. Uh, you know, you want their people to know that you're doing well, but once people know you're doing well, you don't have to give them every meticulous detail of how well you're doing. You know, back in the day, we knew people were doing well, but the only thing we got to see was, you know, the lifestyle of the rich and famous episode where they'd be on there or the MTV Cribs. And that was it. It wasn't in our face every two seconds. Um, and I, I'm not blaming, you know, I, I think that even if they did do it, don't get me wrong, even if they do do that, it's not, you know, the proper response isn't to go and rob people, but the reality is we know how people are and how, how our society is, so we know what we're dealing with. Um, but here's a part that nobody's talking about that I, I wanna bring up, and I've said this, I don't think I've said this on, 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 on 
um, my YouTube channel, um, but I've said this to people before. We have, and I may have said it, but I'll say it like this, particularly for this video, put it, for this video and for this cause. Uh, this young man was shot at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Now, I don't know what part of town this was in. I've heard that most of California is beautiful. I believe that. Um, I don't know what kind of crowd was there. But I do know that we as black people need to stop trying to flex on everybody or being so consumed with who's gonna give us a ooh and a ah, or oh look who it is, look what he got on, look what he wear, look what he driving. I feel a lot of times people put themselves in this kind of situation because they show up with a filet mignon steak around a bunch of hungry wolves. What I mean is this, and again, I don't know what part of town this place was, but too many times you see these guys shot and killed or getting in confrontations in areas where they're driving a Lamborghini, they're driving a Rolls Royce, they're driving uh, a, a Bentley, they're driving a Ferrari, they're driving, you know, a, a, a G-Wagon. And you look around the whole parking lot and there's nothing but a bunch of Nissan Altimas and, and you know, hoodoos and, you know, slabs. <laughs> And they the only one there with money. And sometimes we as black people, we have this thing where we wanna go around people who we know don't have it so we can flex on them. We wanna go around, go back to the neighborhood. If you get the kind of money where you're making multiple millions of dollars, the last place you need to be frequenting is a place where you grew up or, or, or going to places where you grew up where you know the economic conditions or not as you've or not the same that you've recently um had the privilege of moving into you don't need to show up at a place where the people are struggling and striving to live driving your four hundred thousand dollar car with your three hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry on just so you can stand out in the crowd Black people, we have that bad. I don't know how much jewelry this young man was wearing, but you don't need to show up at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. I'm sure Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles isn't the equivalent status of a Vic and Anthony Steakhouse or Perry's or whatever steakhouse as famous where you are, whatever top-notch uh, steakhouse in your city or state. I'm sure Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles ain't that. I'm not sure, you, you know, but you want to show up with tens of hundreds of thousands again i don't know how much jewelry the young man had on so i'm not going to speculate but you have to be careful with what you're showing and you have to be careful with where you're showing it what kind of crowd you're around my belief is that once you reach a certain economic status your environment should reflect that don't keep going around people who haven't reached your economic status. And I'm not telling you to separate yourself from all of your friends or people that you love you, but that love you. But if you're, if every time you go out to have a good time, it's in the holes and the walls that you went to when you were coming up, but you just want to go back there because now you got money and now you want the same people to see you with money. And so they can point and go, Oh, look at so-and-so he back. He back. He look at him. Oh, look at that suit. Oh, look at that. Look at that jewelry. Oh, look at that car. <clears throat> no, that's, that's not how that goes. <clears throat> I said this before. You're not going to get the Harlem Knights. Hey, everybody, it's the champ. Hey, when the champ comes in, the stuttering champ comes into the, to, to the, to the, to the, to the Rays, uh, whatever it was, Ray, that wasn't Ray's boom, boom room. That was, that was life. <coughs> Whatever Ray's casino was, Sugar Ray's, and when the champ comes in, and everybody like, hey, everybody's the champ, and they give him a standing ovation, and he like waving at everybody. Man, they, you're not finna get that going into the hood. They they looking to kill you. They looking to take what you have. They looking to set you up. Think of how much effort it takes for somebody to get your location and to quit what they were doing and come find you just to rob and kill you. 
But you know, and I, I believe that a lot of these rappers and a lot of these celebrities in general, and you see this happening to rappers because rappers want to rap about the hood life and continue to live the hood life by going to the hood and hanging out in the hood. And I know it's a lot of black businesses in the hood. You want to support our businesses. You want to do that. I understand. But if you know you're somebody who have street ties and you know you're somebody who like to wear a lot of jewelry, man, how are you a security detail? How are you a security? If you're just the kind of person who got the can't help it's where you can't help but wear fancy jewelry everywhere you go, you got to flex on everybody everywhere you go, man, have a security detail because you know how it is out here. One of the things that people need to start learning to do is when you move into another economic bracket, another tax bracket, is you need to go to places that reflect that. You don't need to go to a place where you got the only Lamborghini on the parking lot. You need to go to some places where when you drive up on a lot with what you have, nobody's impressed because everybody has it. When you come in with your thousands of dollars of jewelry on, nobody's looking because everybody in there got everybody in there is paid. You're, you're sitting there with a bunch of CEOs and bosses. But the problem is you can't flex on people like that. You can't feel like you're somebody special or bigger than everybody else when you're in a room full of people who look at you and like, yeah, I'm on that level too. We too consumed with wanting to go around people so we can get oohs and ahs from them. And it shouldn't be that way. Don't get me wrong. It shouldn't be that way. This young man should be able to go wherever he want and get oohs and ahs from wherever he wants to get them from. But we know that that's not the case. And since we know that that's not the case, you must adjust yourself accordingly. In a perfect world, you, I, you, I'll be able to strike it rich, you know, doing whatever I'm doing, and then go to Orlando's back in Acres Home where I grew up and buy some sausage in a Lamborghini and nobody try to cause no trouble <clears throat> in a perfect world. But in this world we live in today with all these kids, with, with, with so many godless people, with so much demonic messaging in the music today, uh, hypnotizing these kids to just kill, kill, kill with social media, detaching everybody from reality, detaching everybody from the value of human life, detaching everybody from understanding that taking a life isn't like hitting a delete on a friend button on Instagram or Facebook, but so many people that just don't care about anything but themselves, you got to guard yourself accordingly. And I hate to see this young man killed. I didn't know any of his music. I didn't listen to his music. But he's a young black brother who was doing some good things. And I don't know what kind of street ties he had. I've heard that, you know, maybe he had some street ties and that came back to get him. You you definitely, if you have street ties, can go back to, you know, where you used to get down. But, I, you know, from what I understand, he's from Philadelphia and he's been living in L.A. for a little while. And shouldn't have any street ties in, L in, in L.A. He's from Philadelphia. We just we just dealing with situations where people can't let other people have and i know it's rough i know economic conditions are rough i know ec economic conditions are rough all over the place but man economic con conditions aren't rough enough for you to just start killing people because they have what they have and some people aren't robbing and killing because they've got rough economic conditions some people are just robbing and killing because the opportunity presents itself there are some people who running schemes and scams and bringing in plenty of money but they still want to rob you for what you have and it's sad but i hope one of the things that we that we do as a black people is number one we need to start valuing life again and i can say as a 45 year old this is an ongoing problem this is a problem that we've had in our community for a while back in my day it was the what you stand at what you eyeballing me for you know <laughs> Black man, you, you're a black man and you're walking through a crowd full of people and the one black guy that sees you looks at you and you look at him and what you eyeballing me for? I mean, he eyeballing you because you're the only brother he see. You want to connect with one of his brothers. That's the way it used to be in the days uh, post-slavery during the middle of Jim Crow when a black man had to go to town. I said this before, when he had to go to market to, to buy food for the family. First thing he's going to do, he's going to try to lock eyes with one of his brothers, with another black man. And then they look one another in the eye and be like, I, I see you, you see me, we got each other's back, something go down, we we ride for one another. And it's conditioned in us. We see another black man, we we, we lock eyes, it's not I bother because you got a problem, I'm bother you because you're my brother and I see you. It's not many of us around here, I see you, you see me. Just want to make sure we see each other. We, we nod at each other, let each other know we got each other's back we acknowledge each other but we turn that into we we let you know music and culture weaponize that 
weaponize a connecting vehicle. Black men looking one another in the eye, respecting one another. We let them weaponize. We let people weaponize that. Turn it into a reason to gun each other down. We were having problems. It's not just the younger generation. It's 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 growing. I had several friends in high school gunned down. D. Franks gunned down. Um, a couple other people I went to school with. Uh, Anthony Hartsfield, boxing friend, gunned down. Um, so, you know, we, we've seen several fellas with the Yates gunned down. Lost a lot of friends, gun violence. Um, so this isn't new. It's just reached new levels, but it isn't new. We've, we've, all, we've been doing this to each other. You know, and, and economic conditions were rough then. But a lot of us, even in rough economic conditions, knew we had to get that lesson. We had to get out and get get that lesson, get that that that, uh, that 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 high school diploma. Some of us got these college degrees and keep it pushing. And if you know the economic conditions are rough, man, you can't. The last thing you can do is sit there in the middle of nothing with no plan, because your surrounding culture will force you into a situation where you have to rob and kill it's horrible but i'm praying for these brothers family uh the young lady he was with because a lot of people a lot putting a lot of pressure on her talking about she shouldn't have posted his location man people people are going to be wolves anyway don't look to blame her Let, let's let's yeah okay maybe she posted the location but let's let's just let's first of all let's blame the criminals for being criminals right and then as, as i said again we have to learn that once we start making a certain amount of money, we can't go to certain places looking a certain way. Now, there's some places in Houston, you show up wearing tens of thousands of dollars worth of jewelry, people going to just see you and keep it moving because you'll be surrounded by a bunch of movers and shakers. Houston is a city with a bunch of movers and shakers, a lot of business owners, a lot of people doing their things, a lot of professionals. So. It's a city where you come into a high scale restaurant, people see you driving something nice and you know, see you looking good, see you with a bunch of jewelry, they're not gonna think to rob you because they got it. They they doing they doing their thing. They don't need it. But you have to be around those kind of environments. Stop going where people are poor so you can look down on them. Make people want to take pictures with you. Because you know you want to go to places where they know who you are <clears throat> and they know your music and you know those places are poor, so you go there. So people want to talk to you and take a picture and go, oh, look. You know, you go to some restaurants where it's predominantly white, white crowd, they're not going to know you from Adam. You can't let that not bother you. Go, enjoy yourself, have a good time. Can't be so, so concerned with celebrity that you only want to go places where you are a celebrity. There are some places that celebrities go that they're not a celebrity. Why? Because nobody cares. Nobody cares. Everybody in there is rich. Everybody in there got it. Everybody in there pulled up in a Ferrari. There's some places in Houston. There's some there's some restaurants in Houston. You pull up, everybody, there's a, everything in valet, two, three, four hundred thousand dollars. And there are places, I'm sure in LA and California, there are places like that. So why were why are you at Roscoe's? Okay, I mean, you want to go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Okay, I can't say don't go where you don't want to go, but man, put on a jumpsuit and a nice expensive jumpsuit, a nice watch, and keep it pushing. Or, you know, dress dress up in a nice suit. Leave all the rings and jewelry at home One time Can you not do that one time? What people need to be What people need to understand is You can't dare This world to not mess with you This is the wrong world where you Man I, I'm going out in my stuff And I'm, I dare somebody not You can't dare this world This world is taking the dare Maybe in certain areas before but now everybody's taking the dare. Everybody's so tired of life and so godless, so tired of struggling, everybody's taking the dare. And they will try and rob you and kill you no matter where you are. So rest in peace to this young man. Um, I hope that the community wakes up. <clears throat> uh, I hope that we all wake up, start taking accountability for ourselves. Because this thing is, is it's, it's only going to get uglier. As it's gone from the gang violence in the 80s to the crack epidemic in the 80s and 90s to this stuff that we have now. Where because of the things that happened in the 80s and the 90s, we have these kids living in basically ruins. It's only going to get worse. And my fear is that it'll get so bad 
that it'll become a militarized situation where the government military has to come into these places and take military actions on American soil against our brothers and sisters. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. If, if the wrong people start getting terrorized in this country by these fellas, then you can rest assured with the wrong president, you'll see something like that. So that's all I got, man. Holla at your boy Al. Stay safe out there. Don't flex in the wrong areas. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you got something to say. If you agree with me, cool. If you don't agree with me, you think I'm way off, that's cool. Let's chop it up professionally. It's your boy Al. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace.